books on health and kavithai radio host doing talk shows on health and politics in geetha vani for 15 years the subject is precision homeopathy we know how precise is dr paul joseph he is a legend bring brought a lot of magnificent cure, cures with remedies especially sensation as if i am still remembering so on we have ifp and welcome dr paul joseph you can have the platform for the next for few minutes it's all to you sir please proceed so audible <coughs> yes <coughs> So good morning. We in Canada here is a nine thirty. Good afternoon and good evening, everywhere. Uh, the people, those who are joined all over the world. First of all, I would congratulate the IFPH uh, for organizing uh, such a wonderful seminar. I think today is the one um, hundred and. <laughs> One thousand two hundred seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> so first of all, I wish you all a very prosperous and uh, happy New Year. It's going to be born in few hours. Um. Here, uh, Dr. Patel. I think uh, he might be remember me. I was a student of Dr. Patel when he was. Uh, work as a dean in our college vinayaka missions homeopathy medical college so we learned a lot of uh, different techniques of uh, prescribing right in various way uh, to heal the the individual so those those lectures we always remember even now uh, we we am uh, myself and uh, my colleague during that time uh, dr patel we are 88 89 batch <laughs> when dr subramaniam was when dr subramaniam was the principal <laughs> so, so nice of you dr paul you remember so many things so nice yeah. of you uh, i think you may be aware subramaniam is no more with us yeah yes sir we had a yeah good memories and uh, <laughs> yes and also i have to thank dr patel because uh, the first seminar uh, i delivered uh yeah um, when we were in i think second year or third year i think i i i i, I, I forgot whether, whether it's a second year or third year the seminar was conducted in uh, in vinayaka mission the adivaram college did you remember sir <laughs> yeah 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 little uh, bit of that little bit of that it is some 20 years back almost yeah you have given me the opportunity to talk about the 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 vital capacity Uh, uh, right uh, yeah you know physiology of uh, respiration during that time so nice so, thank, yeah thank they, you professor paul joseph for yeah. remembering <laughs> all those things and remembering me especially yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. so special appreciation and grateful to the iaph committee to make uh, the uninterrupted un un uh, tireable effort to promote healing art and educate our co homeopath to the next level next level of the highest ideal of cure so why i chose this topic because the politics is very uh, the globally suppressed right one and another in various form occupied the other people territory dominate others and the other countries with financially the weapon war war in war way so they spend uh, the millions of dollars that kill the innocent people and civilians now what is that the same thing is going on right so millions of people died every day but at the same time i always think that at the same time they spend trillions of dollars to save the people by means of so called healthcare through the treatment and research and development r and d like that even though so called the western medicine now they started thinking and understanding about 
yetrogenic death and the yetrogenic damage to the health. The yetrogenic means the, the medical error. Now the, the, the American Hopkins University, they declare the third leading cause of death worldwide is the, the yetrogenic death or yetrogenic cause. So now they, a group of young doctors recently in Western world, in here in Canada and United States and Europe, they started move towards the new pathway of ideology. They started new thinking towards the health. They just uh, go beyond the, the conventional way of thinking so that why the one of the turning point that is the precision medicine or personalized medicine. So nowadays everyone they talk about in the media and social media and the seminars all over the world they conduct the seminar on this topic precise and medicine. Recently one of my friend who is a schoolmate of mine now working for as a scientist in NASA and he said there are a group of medical doctors and scientists they, they, they attended the seminar on the same topic the precision medicine organized by various scientists from all over the world there are hundreds of scientists and doctors right during that time during the seminar time he called me, literally he called me and said, Hi Paul, what you people, what you are telling right to all through the years, it's about 200 or two, uh, the, the past 200 years, Dr. Hanneman said the same thing. Now they are thinking about that. Now they are talking about that in various forms in various terminology. The master Hanuman was discovered. It's about two centuries ago, right? The same thing, the same concept, the same fundamental ideology. Now they are talking about in different language and different technology. So the, that's why I took this topic. About the precision medicine, now there are hundreds of YouTube you can see. When you just type in the YouTube or in the Google, you can see there are a lot of videos, a lot of talks about this by uh, various scientists. If you listen, some of the talk and lectures, it's given by the authorities or the scientists. The concept of precision medicine, if you hear, you can feel that talk like just feels like you are in the organ and class. You can feel you are in the organ and class. So that kind of explanation, that kind of terminology that what, what they are using now, right? But the most of the lectures they delivered by uh, the popular scientists. The terminology, while, while you are listening the lectures of precision medicine in the YouTube or in the seminar, they were used, the, 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 the kind of terminology, right? The personalized medicine, individualization, genotype and phenotype, the physical and mental makeup, right? Uh, environmental factors, predisposing factors, one lectures I heard in the YouTube, the, the scientist, he used more than 100 times this terminology, predisposing factors, right? Then lifestyle changes, right re treatment to the right individual, the treatment based on characteristic of individual. So this kind of word you can hear, amazing, right? Find out the root cause. 
one of the NASA scientists, he talked about in the seminar, the precision seminar, just he, he mentioned about frequently, find out the root cause of the problem of each individual. Complex disease, exciting cause. Where we heard all these things in the organ club, right? The same way, right? So that's why I, I chose the topic, the near future, the so-called Western medicine, the allopathic medical dominators, the dictators. In near future, they may change the terminology. And they modified our concept, our philosophy, our organ and uh, the concept. And they may took the patent rights for them, right? And they claimed that it belongs to them. It's going to happen in near future. Because the, 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 the friend of mine, he told me like that, the same way. So that's why to create the awareness, right? presenting the talks on media and social media, the better as early as possible we have to, right? We have to act. There are a few examples I can mention you. The, the, in the end of my lecture, so what is precision medicine? Is it my slides are visible? Yes, sir, visible but not moving. Okay, okay, that's okay. The precision medicine or otherwise called is personalized medicine, right? The most medical treatment are designed for the already the conventional medicine, right? They, they're designed for average patients as one size fit all approach, one medicine for all patients, which may successful for some patients, but not for others. The precision medicine, sometime known as personal medicine, the treatment that takes into account differences in people, genes, environment, and lifestyle. This is not my statement. This is FDA statement. All the slides which I am going to write, present you in front of you is not my slides. All the slides I copied from FDA and CDC. You know what is FDA? What is CDC? Right? The all the all the all the slides I copied from them. The goal of precision medicine is to target right treatment to the right patient at the right time. <laughs> this is a homeopathy, right? The advanced precision medicine have already led to powerful new discovery. See, now they climb. The, this concept is a new discovery. And every appro FDA approved the treatment are tailored. See the word the, in, the, in the red letter, specific characteristic of individual, such as person genetic makeup and genetic profile and of an individual. See? They started already, they started working. See the slide, the, the whole picture, right? Precision medicine, everything is there. The, all the slides, I took it from them. US, uh, that uh, the foot and truck on the FDA. FDA, you know, FDA, CDC is the authority worldwide. Now they started talking about all these things. See, all the slide I just copied from FDA. Department of Health, Human Service, U.S. Food and Drug Administration. See, you know who he is? Who he is? He is the Dr. Margaret, right? Commissioner of Food and Drug Authority. See, now you can see what's going on there. In his in her statement, the personalized medicine which the tailoring of medical treatment to the individual characteristic needs and performance, sorry, and preferences of each patient. The concept of personalized medicine is not new. The clinician have no 
the sorry the clinician have long observed that the patient with a similar symptom may have different illness with the different cause and similarity right the same thing what we studied in the organism so in such a way see the other one see so which is the which is the tailoring of medical treatment to the individual characteristic need the same thing right she explained in a such a way so who is he again commissioner of fda right this is also i got it from the same uh, website from fda website you know how they how the they they arrived this concept the fda approved the new therapy for cystic fibrosis so it's about 2012 they have found out a the a, a patient they started treating of patient of cystic fibrosis with the drug the allopathic drug called calideco do you know what is calideco anyone so this was approved for the patient with the specific genetic mutation of the specific genetic mutation right each and every cystic fibrosis case is different entirely because of uh, the gene mutation is differ in the gene that important for the regulating the transport of salt and water in the body a specific gene in, involved in the pathology so calidego works by helping restore the function of protein that is made up made by mutated gene it allow a proper flow of salt and water on the surface of the lung lung and helps prevent the build up of sticky mucus so this symptom do you have any idea about the homeopathic medicine do you have any idea anyone what what medicine is homeopathic see the next the calidago is the first drug attached to the underlying cause rather than the symptom underlying cause rather than the symptom of cystic fibrosis right see what actually is you will right what actually is calidago main ingredient is silicon dioxide what is silicon dioxide our silicia <laughs> see how they started the other one the, this is a very interesting slide i got it from the fda website right see defining the personalized medicine precision medicine it's far more important to know what the person the disease has than the what the disease the person has so see the same concept what we have the hanuman right quoted in various time in hippocrates uh, this uh, the motto right far more than important far more important to know what the person the disease has than what the disease the person has same thing right again our current lack of they they, they accept their lack they are they they accept their failure in the fda in the fda statement our current lack of ability to predict an individual patient's treatment success for most disease and conditions means that clinician have no choice but to follow less than optimal approach to prescribing drug other than treatment option then the patient being treated for high blood pressure in for example for example might be placed on one of a number of blood pressure medication the patient 
the patient's doctor makes a decision about what medication to be pres to be prescribed based on only a general information about what might actually work for the particular patient right if the medication does not work after a few weeks what they do they change the medication they switch switch off to another the medication so this somewhat trial and error approach can lead the patient dissatisfaction approach can lead to the patient dissatisfaction and adverse reaction may happen right so they accept it so nowadays they accept now they they just they the goal of personalized medicine right see see the right patient with the right drug at the right dose at the right time see so that's why so it's very very important we have to be aware we have to be aware about that right see the new methods of molecular analysis to better manage the patient's disease or predisposing to the disease <laughs> now they started talking about the same thing predisposing to the disease right who said the personalized medicine coalition that is the, all over the world they they they, they have a organization right then the european union union doctors what they are saying the provide the right treatment to the right patient at the right dose at the right time right again and the presidents the council advises of science science and technology what what they are telling the tailoring of medical treatment tailoring means the combination right of medical treatment to the individual characteristic of each patient so again the the we have to characterize the each individual and the american medical association finally they accept the healthcare that is informed by each person unique each person is unique not the point genetic and environmental information based on we have to treat them so again this slide the most of the slide all the slides i got it from fda see 38% of patients with a depression do not respond to the first drug they are right prescribed what they are what they are prescribed the 40 40% of patient with the asthma do not respond what they commonly prescribed drug the type 2 diabetes right 43% arthritis 50% alzheimer's 70% no response see so everything is i got it from uh, right now they started in different way right you know this medicine the particular medicine they prescribe for the cancer herceptin the medicine name is herceptin right this medicine is a biological see herceptin is a mono clonal antibody right it where they got it from they got it from they got it from mouse the cells the hormone sorry the enzyme of the mouse now they started potentizing they got the uh, right enzyme they started potentizing and they are giving to the the cancer patient that is a approved treatment for particular conditions see again i got it from the right us health data information everything is there the person they give important to the person the markers the exposome the behavioral health what is the person person mean the individual the markers the scientific health data from genetic data and uh, the the patient uh, physiological and pathological data then the exposome what is exposome the environmental data where the patient living where the individual living what is the family situation then the behavioral health completely right mental and physical behavior 
of the patient. <coughs> See, this is also I got it from uh, National Academy of Science, USA. The same thing they are talking. The same thing they are narrating. See? So particular precision in the oncology. Now they started research on oncology, the cancer cells. They study the genomes because each and every genome is different in each individual that we know. But each in the, each genome, if they if they mutate, right in the cancer cells, we can name the cancer or carcinoma or oral carcinoma or the uh, different kind of tumor. It's not the same. Now they accept it's not the same for the every individual because the mutation of gene inside the cells or inside the, the, the gene is different. Now they started drug for each mutation, each genes. See, drug one, drug two, drug three, drug four, like that. Where they got the idea? Okay. See, again the same thing, right? For different person, different drugs. That is a future medicine. Again, the emperor law trial, right? In the, in the type of different cancer in the lung, right? Different medicine. The same medicine, not suit for them. Not the same thing. See, again, this is also, I got it from a FDA website. Right, healthy live, healthy life, precision medicine, precision health. Now they started all these things, right? <laughs> Very interesting. Hey, now the people they they are they they stolen all the concept and philosophy. We have to be careful. See, this is all the this picture I got it from the website, the the FDA website. Each individuals are different, right? Even nose and face and lips and see. It's about a few days ago, one of our homeopathy, junior homeopathy, she, she talked about the, the face features, <laughs> right? Yeah. How to how to differentiate. See. Now they talk about uh, genotype and phenotype. What is genotype? That based on gene, different individual. Different personality. Phenotype is the physiological personal right traits, the appearance, the appearance of the patient, constitution. Phenotype is nothing but it's a constitution. See again, principle of personality medicine. What is that? The targeted right. The drug tox toxic but beneficial. There are group of tox. Uh, sorry, the drugs toxic but beneficial. There are group of drug not toxic and not beneficial. There are other group of drug drug to toxic but not beneficial. The drug not toxic and beneficial. That is homeopathy. See. They are different. I see. This is also, I got it from the same website, CDC website. This is, I got it from CDC. See, the different personalities. How we differentiate the person, sex, blood type, color, right? The constitution, morphology, age, ancestors, right? From the, uh, the past history, family history. So everything is there. Now they started talking about all these things. See, in future, this may be the things, right? Even each and every individual, we can have one like this and put one drop of blood and all the gene analyzer and all the data of our, right? Uh, the, the Everything is comes out. Even it can be used for homeopathic treatment in future, right? It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. The Obama... President Obama announced the precision of medicine in initiative when it's about just right 2015 January right he 
he he he just initiated the research on the this one again the same thing genotype phenotype genotype all the information data collected from the terminology may be different i told you in the initial right my lecture terminology maybe maybe change right but the concept is copied from homeopathy right genotype and phenotype the patient data and gene data see these are the drugs sir. on the on the right side there are a lot of drugs they mentioned on the basis of uh, this precision medicine they 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 recently they discovered the all the drugs if you go into just take one one drug and go into deeper most of the drugs are from natural source from natural sources that's they are they are not chemical maybe one or two maybe you know the stain the stain the drug which uh, they use for uh, right hyperlipidemia high cholesterol the sta the statin statins this is the specific filament protein they took it from aspergillus you know what is aspergillus that's a fungus right please be careful be careful right the precision medicine again the same thing See? today the average patient standard medicine one medicine for everyone right improve outcome no benefit adverse effect again they they just in their website i got it right the 2030 maybe in near future precision medicine right improved outcome improved uh, the outcome and reduced side effect Right, that 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 they are going to claim. See again in the website. See the life experience. So we have to consider each patient's gene markers and life experience linked with their specific conditions. Very very important. What we are right doing with the patient. Life experience of the patient. We get it from all their case history. the totality of symptom life experience is nothing but the totality of symptom right okay so there are a lot of things uh, again this is also i got it from lancet see the lancet right so called the monopoly right magazines monopoly journal in western medicine now they started talking about all these things previously they said these are all nonsense now they started all these talking or they 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 started talking about all these things see the picture this is i got it from the lancet magazine see the precision medicine he the lancet medicine described <coughs> i am not described the precision medicine is defined as a medical care that the design to optimize diagnostic efficacy or therapeutic benefit by targeting the need of the individual patient based on genetic biomarkers phenotype or psychosocial characteristics okay and this is very important things the first time in the seminar ifph seminar i am declaring there are big stolen taken place from our homeopathy so everyone you have to talk about this this is very important things what i am going to tell now all the medicine ozampic i don't know in india uh, the maybe the name differ maybe different that's a allopathic uh, the sorry the 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 diabetic injection do you heard about this it's last 5 years in all over western countries the doctors they started prescribing this medicine doctors they started prescribing this medicine i think in india too maybe in a different name ozampic semaglutide injection 
Just go to the Google. Let uh, maybe you can search. This medicine, what they do, you know what they do? Once in a week injection. It's control diabetic, what they are telling. Very important. I'll come to the secret later. You know this medicine, where, it, they, where they, it's uh, from where it's prepared? From where it's derived from? Right? Where? Do you know any, anyone? Please. Anyone in the forum? No, right. See? <laughs> this medicine actually, they got it from your we don't, know, sir. We, don't huh? know. we don't know. Okay. This medicine, you know, they got it from the venom of Gilea monster. Do you hear about this name? Gilea monster. See? Refer this Materia Medica. 19, it's about just 123 years ago, the Clark described about this medicine. The Clark, right? He, he yes, in his Materia Medica, even in Boric Materia Medica, right? The, he mentioned about Heloderma. The medicine name is Heloderma. I think many, many of you know about this. This medicine is used for stroke and uh, right uh neuro um what do you call that uh, the stroke and uh, the uh, neurovascular disorders most of the neurovascular disorder this is a poison from uh, from uh, the uh, kind of lizard now they claim it's their medicine See, please, the Gila monster venom here is about uh, September, the last September, they published in the, one of the, uh, the popular magazine, right? New York Times, popular magazine, New York Times, they published. Indeed, the many have exotoxic origin include, see, the other one here. The scientist found scientists found see the word homeopathy found dr clark found right that hormone in gilia monster venom called there are some protein type right they treat type 2 diabetes so where they got it from from our literature they copied and they climbed it's their medicine. So in near future, it's going to be happened. In one by one, one by one, one by one. Right? What we are going to do. So that's why I took this topic. See, Heloderma. See, the Clark Materia Medica. It is there. Everything is there. Gilea monster. See the word here. Right? Glia monster Heloderma. And the other Boric Materia Medica. The same thing. It's about 123 years ago they we, we the homeopathy discovered this medicine. Now they choose in different form in their way. And also, just I want to tell you, I'll, I'll stop this slide at slide say, okay. How many of you heard about thalidomide? When we study the community medicine, right? Everyone we studied about thalidomide. The thalidomide is banded drug, right? Why it's banded drug in allopathy? Because it's, uh, it's causing a lot of uh, birth deformity. Right? In newborn child. They prescribe before to control the, right, the, the during pregnant, the, the depression or 
the uh, hyperemesis gravidarum or so, sort of things uh, right for different kind of uh, psychological issues during pregnancy then finally after 50 years they banned the drug completely now you know what they are doing this is a very interesting thing now they took the same medicine thalidomide and potentized they give they 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 didn't use the word potentized you know what what kind of terminology they are doing high dilution of thalidomide they they use the word high dilution very important high dilution of thalidomide it cures the certain type of cancer in newborn baby a certain type of cancer in newborn baby right after mutation of certain genes hey what ba ayo 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 right i don't know what to do so be careful uh, please our colleagues dr patel <laughs> you people like you have to do something for this right and uh, very interesting things what what uh, the, the 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 ideology that that i explained and i revealed then we have to act accordingly thank you so much yes the ninth presentation always there is no difference because he is always presenting very interesting topics in an interesting manner this time also is another exception and uh, on the last day of this this year there is a wonderful presentation so time for discussion those who like to participate please raise your hand as rightly mentioned by dr paul joseph the individualized medicine the personalized medicine is price tend the the old wine in new bottle that is what happened yeah. and they have christ and test their own methodology and rightly said by the doctors the, the about the patency of this uh, this yeah. sure sure they will they will definitely try in that way and will they will they will capitalize on that also now yeah. the, now, now they started all uh, the the pharmaceutical uh, mafia they started uh, preparing the medicine because the my friend it's about just few week ago we discussed about that me and my friend who is working for the nasa yes slowly they will change the the, the terminology of homeopathy then they will take over yes, they sir. change the homeopathy they they put some some uh, some, some terminology and they will take over yes this is going to happen yes sir now dr madhav vembadi madam please unmute and you can ask or you yes. can contribute yes madam please Dr. Paul, I don't have words to tell you, tell the gratitude, love, respect, everything to you since you, know, you have the, uh, presented this topic. See, please, please try to uh, make them un make, understand to the public people, especially those who are um, telling that uh, uh, homeopathy is pseudoscience, please uh, try to make aware to them also. Through uh, social media or papers or anything, anything like that, or through seminars and all, I request you, sir. I'll, I'll, so, I'll, I'll it's a very really nice uh, presentation. Yeah, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. This is from uh, the U.S. authority. Did you see the video? Yeah. Yeah. Precision that's... medicine. You've probably heard the words on the news or even at your doctor's office. But how does it affect your life right now? Precision medicine is basically a modern approach to understanding health. Take asthma. Asthma affects more than 25 million Americans, nearly one in 12. They all have one thing in common, a condition that makes breathing difficult. In most clinics, these patients are treated with an inhaler and the same drug, albuterol. But are 25 million people all the same? If you have asthma, your condition depends on where you grew up how old you are, and your ancestry. It also depends on the air you breathe and if you have carpets or pets. See, Every patient is unique, so one-size-fits-all remedies don't always work. It's not just asthma. For diabetes, cancer, and most other diseases, today's treatments are based on obvious symptoms, standard tests, and common drugs. Precision medicine, however, starts with creating a clear picture of health by collecting, connecting, and analyzing many kinds of information. This could be data you provide from your fitness tracker, 
or it could be what scientists are learning in their labs right now about the underlying causes of disease. Genetics, your health history, and other details are added to the mix. When we integrate such data from millions of people, your clinician and researchers can understand your health risks, how others like you responded to a disease or drug, ways to prevent disease, and what makes you unique. So we can stop focusing on diseases and care for you as an individual. The more information we collect and connect, the better scientists will understand health. And as that knowledge network grows, we can ensure that every patient everywhere gets the right treatment in the right dose at the right time. See, that's a, uh, <laughs> the other thing, just I want to tell you that uh, I will not over here. Excuse me, sir. Before that, Dr. Patel is waiting for the uh, sir. Dr. Patel, please, uh, Dr. Pa Professor Patel. Yes. Yes. No, 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 Dr. Paul, you can speak. Then we will speak. See, this is the problem, not yeah. only in states. Everywhere it's happening. Recently, two days back, we had one team from uh, Germany. Uh, basically, they are the MD, MD doctors and converted to homeopathy and practicing homeopathy. Same problem, they are talking about this. And we told them, if you want, we can try to come there, help you and all that <clears throat> to make... He says, sir, they want proof of homeopathy medicine working. I told them only one thing. We give sub-physiological doses. Let us say 1M, 200, 10M. How can that sub-physiological doses show the result in the laboratory, which is only material-based? Unless you use physiological doses, the blood levels and all that, it will not show in the blood. But when you give the medicine to the patient, blood levels change. The patient gets relief. Their diameters change. But you want to show in the lab, that will not happen. And that is where they are trying to hit us out. They want to test sub-physiological doses at physiological level. That yeah. can never happen. And this struggle will be going on. <laughs> Paul Joseph is fighting in America, they are fighting in Germany, and we are fighting here in yeah, India. That's... This is happening. See, even the uh, for your information, let me tell you, this year, admissions of homeopathy college have come down by 40 to 50 percent. In UP, 100, per, 100 admissions, only five happened. Oh, that's so a the, bad. Yeah, this is what, because they, the people are not interested. Only patients and if and not politicians, you are able to help them in the treatment, they will speak for us in the uh, government. Otherwise, you struggle and you only struggle. Yes. So the main thing there happened is that the patient process this time delayed by four months. Yeah, exactly. The main problem and the culprit is none other than the other, other place, the National Homeopathy Council. They, they are not interested or initiated in a drive for that. See, we, I have discussed everything with them because the Khurana was a student of mine in Delhi and Punjab. Yes. And today he is the chairman. See, he says, Dr. Sasiki, well, what can we do? Okay. Only he has reduced 5% in admissions. And uh, with that and that too, they have delayed. First preference is allopathy. Next is Ayurveda. Afterwards, if anything remains, it's homeopathy. So this is the trend in Indian government also. So yes. we need, we you see the struggle is going on and it will go on further also. First of all, we, we must change our attitude, sir. That's the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. See, we are all there. We are been discussing with the, even uh, the closest minister. The They want to reduce the admission by 10%. Instead of 50, make it uh, 10, 40 I told them government will not agree because we are demanding equal salaries. When they when we are demanding equal salaries, they will say equal uh, um, uh, admission capability. Need need is fifty percent. So all these problems are happening in other countries. Other problems in our country. We have our problems. So let us all struggle. Keep on struggling at various forums. And really nice, uh, Paul Joseph. You have analyzed so well. Uh, there you have analyzed so nicely. Very nice. Mm -hmm. yes. Definitely, you can be proud of your students, sir. Now, Dr. Thanesh. <laughs> yes, Dr. Thanesh, please. All, all credits goes to the Dr. Patel. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Yeah, the first step, 
The yes. first seminar is there. It's still I remember. <laughs> yes, yes. Ram Ganesh, please. Yes. Yes, uh, good evening, Professor uh, Paul Joseph. It's really a wonderful presentation once again, a different subject about uh, precise medicine. Uh, frankly, uh, nobody thought that such things are going to happen because this is uh, the uh, this, uh, allopathic people have uh, noted the, their limitation. And as you rightly pointed out, they are shifting focus to homeopathy in a different way. That's why... Different terminology. They, yes. they are going to do different terminology. That's important. Yeah, that's why they use the high dilution, high dilution. <laughs> uh, that's why it, it, the, the, the so-called people who are saying that homeopathy is a science, and they are the people, uh, they are now, they used to say that how the homeopathic medicine were going to work in uh, these uh, dilutions. They, they used to say that we are diluting your medi uh, medicine and using it, uh, then you can use the uh, uh, salt uh, the water from... Uh, this uh, see and take it as a medicine like that, uh, then how it works. But frankly, it is not. The homeopathic fertilization is entirely different phenomena and it is not the dilution, uh, but uh, you have connected those uh, things that was written in our uh, material medica as well as in our philosophy to the latest uh, uh, medicine uh, as were the, uh, the Lancet and other people. Uh, but uh, uh, the need of the hour is uh, this is why there is a medical bill that uh, that was put forward by the government of Kerala uh, to tarnish the or uh, to to uh, to uh, da uh, damage uh, the scope of homeopathy to the public because most of the people are changing from the so-called modern medicine to these uh, eye systems and uh, the people uh, the growth of homeopathy in Kerala as well as in India is uh, exemplary. Uh, high level. So uh, they want to uh, take back their patients into their kitty and they want to bring uh, the so-called uh, medicines. Uh, uh, as you know, in Kerala, 30 percentage of the medicines uh, are used, uh, produced in India or sell in India are used by the people of 3.5 crores. And that's the reason why the most uh, of the uh, people are now uh, going to the dia dialysis center. The number of percent percentage of from the percentage of dialysis is uh, when compared to other uh, part of the India is very very high because the, uh, the, the most of the people using uh, this uh, so called scientific medicine or the chemical medicine or chemical weapon as their uh, uh, in the in the name of protection their, their health but frankly it is doing more damage than good but in the early part of itself we have. Uh, lot of personalities who lived for more than 100 years even without much medication uh, and that's uh, that, uh, that they are neglecting but they are saying that with the people's health right uh, uh, these uh, life stem has improved in such a way because of these medicines but frankly it is not what's your opinion on that uh, professor we have to uh, Dilutations there. Now, Dr. Narayan is waiting. Sir, Narayan, Dr. Narayan, please. Dr. Patel also want to talk. Yes, yes. We'll come to Dr. Sir, Dr. Narayan. Good, good, good evening, sir. Patel, sir. I'm uh, Narayan. I attended the 2008 seminar where you said uh, Sina is the uh, little girl's uh, remedy for uh, heavy bleeding. So I remember that and I met in uh, 2010 in uh, uh, Jammu also, where Dr. Praveen Kumar introduced me and uh, you uh, talk in, in Telugu. So then I remember you, sir. But what you said, physiological doses, they want to prove in allopathy. But uh, recently, not recently, since... Ten years I am uh, observing all the scientific seminars conducted by homeopathy, international and national, where there is uh, uh, this research is going on dilutions of high dilutions in the European countries, sir. especially in uh, Yugoslavia. They are conducting the uh, research and dilutions how far they are working. So it shows that uh, uh, 
30 potency shows 98 percent uh, result and uh, 250 percent and higher dilutions less percent they are proved that uh, they are uh, still going on research in Yugoslavia about the high dilutions but in physiological doses they want to prove in uh, how homeopathy is working but recently that uh, Bellare from uh, Hawaii uh, IIT, he uh, found out that uh, nanotechnology in high dilutions also we have the medicine in nanoparticles. Yeah. So why can't they go into that uh, uh, this uh, nanotechnology and uh, prove that how it is working? Because they don't have the knowledge of nanotechnology. That's why they are always uh, dominating us. The words on the and they are... Yes, Hello? Yes, sir, are you hearing? Yes, in the coming days, we can discuss on that, sir. It's time to wind up the session, ah, sir. sir. Oh, yes, it's time to wind yes. up the session. May I invite Dr. Rama Devi Ambadi to express so a sort of thanks. But are you there? Dr. Rama Devi Ambadi. Dr. Rama Devi Ambadi. Hello. Oh, Dr. Patel, you have to unmute. Not responding. Patel. No. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, sir, are you hearing me? Thanks. We will not speak. Here. Yes, sir. Yes. Now you are giving vote of thanks. Now nah? let it be done. Yes, sir. You can. Uh, is Dr. Madhav is not responding, sir. Please, sir. So I, you are, okay. I thank my wonderful. Uh, once upon a time student and now my colleague, Professor Paul Joseph from Canada. I'm really happy, uh, Paul Joseph, you have gone there, established there and doing that and giving the practical thing what is happening and how you people are struggling. It's only in India, if a little bit homeopathy is there, I was telling them, only in India. India means Pakistan, India and Bangladesh. Homeopathy is surviving outside all. You have to keep on struggling. And you are a part of that. Thank you very, very much for the wonderful presentation. And let's keep in touch with with us. Okay. Thank you have my you. phone number? Uh, no, no, I'll. I'll uh... <laughs> you can take it now. Or no, you can uh, take it from no, the, the, the Dr. Danish. Or no, you, you can write tell that. Me. Uh, you can tell eight, me that nine, now. 895. Yeah. Double one. Double one. Double six. Double six. Seven six four. Seven six four. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. You can please, please be in touch. Okay. I'll call through, through the WhatsApp. Yes, so nice. Thank you. Thank you all for the for the wonderful presentation and all the good company. Dr. Kalyan Sarub, Narayan, and all that. Very nice. Narayan we, we should meet Narayan. Okay, uh, thank you all. Tomorrow we will have a session uh, from Dr. Bifu Prasad Pandey. Right. Yes, time for the, the Marala session. Dr. Thanesh, please proceed, Dr. Thanesh. Yes, please. Thank you, Dr. Manoj. Namaskaram. I am B.H. Indi. I am the Ilnuti Padina Ramada Dina Malayala Vipaga Webinar. I am the Arabic. Webinar ni ada apa kagum ayu, urut minit itu mungkin apa arti ni ana. Nanti, lau urkum, nama kita iya uru wassam, ada dua air itu iri bet nali, urut amsani kia ana, ina teratri, nale uru putu wassam dorongnya ana. Semua homi pada doktor marga. Pada boleh ni homi pada istimewa hilkom, bidyar hilkom, semua orang tu, orang tu, bukan orang road kuriya, pada orang asam sijikunda, anda mula ini nanti session kai kai ini cerita ni itu moderate ini itu doktor Shaila Chini kia.
Uh, one minute, one minute, uh, Dr. Paul Joseph. Uh, please uh, change the host to me. Uh, unfortunately, um, while shifting, uh, it has happened. Uh, please. Uh, Dr. Paul Joseph, are you oh, there? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Please say, uh, please uh, make me the host. Unfortunately, you are the host now. Oh. Uh, what you can do is just uh, click on the uh, right corner of this. Just uh, click on my right corner. You can see some uh, dots. Then uh, you just click on that. Uh, you can see then uh, some uh, un unmute uh, host call okay, host like okay. that. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll, oh, I'll end end the session and coming back. Is it okay? No. Uh, I just uh, just uh, you just you click. I don't know where to. Uh, you you can see some door. You can see uh, an option there in green, uh, in blue, uh, which is uh, mute and unmute. Uh, on the extreme corner, you can see some dots. On the top, you just see. On the top, uh, left, uh, right top. You see on the right top of your left, you can see. I just or I just or you look look at my face, look at my color, and then, okay, look at my color, and you can see I am I am now un unmuted. You can see mute like option. Then you just click on the other side, where you can see here the mute option. Here the mute and unmute option. There there are some dots. There are some dots. You just click on that. Then you can see some options coming out. Ah, uh, in your this thing. Okay, okay. Okay, in my my, just on my my screen. Okay. Okay, you can see uh, now. Just you click some dots. You can see the some dots. Uh, just uh, yeah, 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 yeah. just and click I'll... on. Then you can see uh, another option coming out there. Host and co-host like that. I am a co-host now. You just click on host. Then the, uh, the computer will ask, uh, "Do you want to uh, make uh, Doctor Danish as host?" Then you click on that. Make a call. Okay, make a call. Okay, now it's good. Yeah, yes, 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 good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, it's over to Dr. Shri Shaila to continue. Thank you, Dr. Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Lavaka Namaskar. 